Most people in America are looking for how do I make a life worth living and retirement having. In order to do that, we have to know where our rights begin and end. The truth is that many people like to have power over others. They often do so as a form of indiscriminate, inopportune abuse. What I mean is that a person can say no to something, but another person will try to override that individual's right to say no. It's a rudeness of an immature individual to allow someone to say no. You see, it's almost a form of rape of rights. There's a lot of types of rape in the world. There is the rape of the physical body where someone has no opportunity to say no, meaning someone has illegally or immorally trained them like a monkey to fall asleep and to not feel anyone's touch. That is something that law enforcement does in jails that is incredibly illegal. It's probably why a lot of women in jail cells end up pregnant, but it's also why a lot of men in jail end up abused and sometimes addicted to the things they're prescribed to keep them even keel while they're in jail. The liars of America do work in the force. We see it all the time on court TVs and sort of uh, inmate television where the law enforcement officers are lying in order to get the person under scrutiny to admit something. We've seen those scenes in movies and television and in real life action type of oriented footage. The problem is not just that today. The problem is the forms of abuse that are done today with types of audio files that run in the subliminal to get us to buy more today, to do more today, to quit smoking today, whatever it might be, to smoke more today, to be more interested in different types of programs or alcohol or other things today. Those things can often be even played in churches to try to get people to tithe more or be more devoted to the pastors. Those things are incredibly immoral. In life, we have moments of time to speak the truth about how technology is being utilized in a way that is improper for society. At the same time, we're quite aware that there's a lot of new types of sciences coming down the peak that help people with their difficulties of sleeping, difficulties of eating, difficulties of allergies, difficulties of just dealing with the day-to-day -day aspect of dealing with mosquitoes, such as essential oils. Some of that stuff works really well. Others of it doesn't work as well, and some of it is downright dangerous for society. The truth is that people do not want their food or their beverages tainted, and we recently saw on the news a show, I think it was a morning show, with Hoda and whoever her new Kathy Lee replacement is, that basically when she retired, they replaced her with someone named Jenna, I think. And I don't know if it's Jenna Bush, I have no idea. But the bottom line, they were talking about how you check to see if your drink has been tainted if you've gone to a bar or to a social outing or to a business event where there might be alcohol at a bar to purchase along with soft drinks and other things. The truth is that in life we have moments of time to speak the truth about what is and isn't acceptable underneath American society, social culture, and openly inappropriate aspects of of nuances that people just don't get anymore because they've lost the ability to be polite in America. Now if I say this, people think I'm old school, I'm old fashioned, possibly so. But when we were old school and old fashioned, we had a little bit less problems with blacks, a little bit less problems with white supremacy, and we had a little bit less problems with the people coming here from foreign nations and foreign countries. We are now overrun with those things because of failures in immigration and failures to protect our borders and every part of our nation. In life we have moments of time to speak the truth about what is and isn't real, but what is real for you may not be real for someone else. What is your perspective may not be someone else's perspective. What is your belief system may not be someone else's belief system, and what is your position may not be someone else's position. But here's the bottom line. Is it really your right to render any opinion at all? Were you invited to do so? Were you asked for that feedback? Were you allowed that indiscretion? My guess is probably not. Sometimes we feel people out by checking them, by eating with them, by dining with them, and we check them over to see what kind of person they are. Other times we give them an assignment on our behalf to see if they will fulfill what we've asked them to do without editing that, 
without abusing that, without changing that, and that's a good way to test an employee today. The challenge we have in corporate America, the challenge we have across the nation in retail stores, is that people are not willing to do the jobs anymore, meaning they're not hiring the right people, they're not age demographic, they're not training them the right way so they won't go astray, and openly we see that each and every day.